So, uh, problem F, please. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the pr most popular problem so far. Uh, quite a lot of teams actually made uh, accepted attempts for it. So it's probably one of the easiest problem uh, as far as we can see. Uh, the problem itself uh, uh, has pretty long story, unlike the previous uh, analyzed one, D. So the story is that there is a whole heap of batteries and we need to put them into some kind of processors and each processor uh, accepts like some uh, fixed number of these batteries. Uh, and uh, the other problem is that every processor actually has uh, two places where we need to put k batteries each. Uh, the problem itself too is to minimize the uh, difference between power supplies for two parts of the processor. So uh, the power supply for every part is frankly speaking minimum uh, voltage power that batteries in it provide. So minimal power of all batteries involved. Uh, if we get, for example, like battery with power one volt uh, in one part and others are higher and um, in other parts like two volts, then the difference is one volt and uh, we need to find maximum of it uh, among all the processors and then we need to minimize the whole value. Uh, such problems are rather common and they have uh, one common idea which usually helps in solving them all. That's uh, binary search. So what we do in this exact problem is we uh, try to uh, limit, find a lower bound for the answer and upper bound and we make them uh, as close as possible so until we uh, get to precision of one uh, one volt, that's uh, like discrete precision which we need. Uh, the only problem we have right now is to check uh, if we can actually arrange the batteries into the, uh, into the processors in such a way that we get uh, exactly, uh, exactly the uh, difference we need or less. There is a greedy algorithm which helps us do it. Uh, we pick pairs close pairs from uh, our pool uh, of batteries with close voltages and then we assign those two batteries as minimum uh, supplies for uh, every block in the processor. So uh, it can be done with sorting the pile of batteries according to their power first and then we take, for example, say lower two batteries uh, check if their difference is less than, than what we like minimize or, or the assumption we have right now. And then we continue to either put batteries in existing blocks if uh, difference is too large, or we can also uh, add new minimal batteries to another processor. So that results in something like uh, and logarithm and solution with the uh, addition of binary search precision. So uh, it definitely uh, is definitely good for the constraints that this problem has. So currently there are 79 successful submissions to this problem. I so it's by far the most solved problem. I assume but this was designed to be the one that everybody solves. It was one of them, yes. Yeah. Right, and D is the other one? Uh, I would say A is the other one, but a people other. haven't realized it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, there's more people working on A, but I mean, yeah, binary search is not exactly something that programmers don't know about. Uh, where do people go wrong on a solution? Well, there is one tricky part is actually when you uh, fix the number, uh, that's, well, that uh, delta of uh, difference between minimums. And uh, then when you actually get those batteries uh, in order of uh, ascending power, uh, you need to decide where it, uh, uh, in which pile it goes, just to make sure that you actually uh, use all the batteries. And uh, many teams uh, trying to make it in one pass uh, make some bugs in 
uh, figuring out where they already have a problem with uh, uh, arranging those batteries. So some teams actually get higher uh, answers than, than they need to.